Splendid Cartoon. If he, if he, if he don't be for your love, oh. If he, if he, if he, if he don't be for your love, oh. Baba God, I don't know. Me. Congratulations. As you are six weeks gone, you're going to be a mother. For your love, oh. Baba God, I don't know where I for day to day. If he don't be for your love, oh. I am me. Let's celebrate. What's the occasion? I just won a multi-millionaire contract. Wow, that's a good one. Drink more, drink, celebrate with me. If you don't for your love, that December ting tings, ting tings for go disaster. But you come, but you come, but you come reverse. If he, if he, if he, if he, if he don't be for your love, oh. what you have to do when them say I no go fit me come? What you have to do when they almost spoil my name, Baba, Baba, God, you too much. Oh. I don't know what I do. Oh, what have I done? Oh shit, I'm ashamed of myself. My plan has failed. Blended is back with his family. What do I do? What you I do when you like me so? My sister. You try, oh. If I were you, eh, I would never forgive that man. Don't talk like that. He's a changed person now. Changed? Hmm. Okay, oh. Honestly, that bros for my heart big time. I don't think I can ever trust any man again. He looks so gentle and innocent. But within, he is a bad oh. Do not generalize it. There are good and faithful men out there. Don't let my story affect your love life. Love is a beautiful thing. And marriage is a sweet experience if you meet the right person. Hey, and see me. All men are promiscuous in nature. It is in their DNA. I disagree with you. And I won't want you to base your assumption on such fallacy. I have heard you. Shall be careful of the kind of friends you allow around you. People like Auntie Tricia should be kept far. I know that already. No room for bad friends. Better. And monitor your husband closely. Check his phone and make sure you read all his messages. WhatsApp chat, Facebook messenger, DMs, and so on. Ah uh ha, -uh, kilo day. Why would I do that? It's just normal. It is normal, auntie. Ruth, it is not normal. Trust is the basis of every relationship. In as much as I want to be sure he has truly changed. I don't think spying on him is the best option. He doesn't password his phones. But I will not go about reading his messages or picking his calls. Hmm. And see me. Wise up. Wise up. Don't make the same mistake again. Ruth, don't go into marriage with this your mindset and mentality. It won't help you. Leave that one, oh. Men don't deserve special treats. They are all the same. Thank you for your advice. How is Ronaldo? That big head. He is fine, no? Yes, I'm fine. But, baby, can I really trust you? Why do you keep asking the same question? See, I love you with my whole heart. And I'll never betray your love. Exactly what all men say. They promise you heaven and earth. Last, last. They will still break your hearts. Babe, I'm different. I'm not like other guys. I don't play games. Ah. That is the punchline. I have been told that any guy that says he is different and is not a player is definitely the coach of all players. So, you are the other quarter quarter of them all. This is not funny. When I say I'm different, I mean it. It's not a lie. This is exactly what my sister's husband used to say. Until we found out he has been having a secret affair with his, with his wife's best friend. Man. Man. Ruth. It will be very unfair to generalize such accusation. You can say all men are bad just because your sister's husband is unfaithful. Call his name. Don't join us because he is not us and we are not him. Honestly, since that incident, I have been finding it very hard to trust any man again. That shouldn't be. There are good men and there are bad men. Same goes for women. It will be very wrong to think Everybody is bad just because few people are bad. Okay, oh, time we tell. You like me so, you too, they, you too, they, you too, they bless me, yo. This guy, God, you too. This Kofu babe isn't bad, though. She's single. I'm also single. I'm ready to mingle. Let me shoot my shot once and for all. You too, they, you too, they, 
You should bless me up This guy God you too 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 much up If he if he not for your love oh Baba God I don't know where I forget you did If he not for your love oh I forget Hello Barista Hello Madam Kofo How are you? I'm fine and you? I am fine thank you Where's your day going? It's just there Nothing much is going on What are you doing this weekend? Nothing serious why do you ask? Um, I'm just thinking we could hang out. You know, we have never had the opportunity to meet and discuss casually. Only business. I just want to see you and chat. Or ain't we friends? I guess we are. Yes, so can I come pick you up on Saturday evening? It's my treat. Okay, I'll be expecting you. It's a date. Thanks. Bye. Thank you for allowing me to stay with you. What are friends for? You can stay for as long as you want. You are such a good friend. I'm so glad you agreed to hang out with me. Can I call you Kofo? Why? Because this is a casual, friendly meeting. I want to get to know you beyond the office. And why? If I may ask. <laughs> you see, let's not put the cat before the horse. First, I must say you look rather ravishing today. Thank you. You don't look so bad yourself. Thanks. Although it's the same thing I have to wear every working day because of my job. Barrister James, could you please get straight to the point? All right, Kofu. I've been ruminating on your personnel recently. Quite frequently, and I must say, you have no idea how potent and pervasive your image has grown to become in my mind's heart. In fact, I put it to you that I simply cannot extrapolate. Barista, you are not inside a court of law. Sorry, it's been a while since I did this. No wonder you are still single. See who is talking. What? Nothing. Kupu, I just wanted to express my feelings to you. And? I like you. Your personality, your drive, your beauty, uh, I think I'm falling in love with you. Barista. Please call me James. Are you asking me out? Kofu, I want us to be together. Well, from the place we said earlier, I was made to understand that you need to give more. Try as much as possible to help people in need. By doing so, you meet your man. The bone of your bone and the flesh of your flesh. Indeed. Patience is virtue. So, what do you say? I need to think this over. Just, just give me some time to sort myself. Sort yourself? Yes. I, I need some time, please. No problem. I'll be waiting. I need to do something about this pregnancy. Please now, I'll help your friend. What you're asking me to do is absurd. What if this guy finds out? He doesn't know you as my friend. Thank God I haven't introduced you guys. Ruth, why don't you let the sleeping dog lie? I know you. You will be heartbroken if he falls for the trap. And I would be free and safe from future heartbreak. I need to know how faithful he is. I need to know whether he will not cheat on me when we eventually get married. I think that is late because you already said yes to his proposal. My sister, it's just a ring. We are not married. Hmm. Don't say I didn't warn you. No worry now, eh? You know marriage is a lifetime commitment. So I need to be sure before committing my whole life. So, what do you want me to do? Simple. Just flirt with him on social media. And let's see whether I will ask you out. And if he does? You play along. Madam Kofo, this is not the best option. Doctor, I have no choice. A lot of things are at stake. You have a choice in this matter. You can choose to be a mother or a murderer. This child is no mistake. It's a blessing from God. A lot of people wanted it, but God didn't even give it to them. Doctor, I am confused. We are worried that people will call you names. Change your environment. But please keep the baby. In few years to come, she will be your source of joy. Hmm.
Things, things for go disaster. But you come, but you come, but you come. Wow. Who is this pretty babe that just followed me and liked all my pictures? Mmm. Pretty underscore Sandra. Let me reciprocate our love. He just liked all my pictures. Good. Let's wait a bit whether it's going to slide into your DM. Hmm. I don't think this is a good idea. Why are you talking like this now, eh? We are on this already. So, no backing out. Chai, this be fine. Should I slide into her DM? No. That will be too quick. She doesn't look like someone I know. I beg. Make I continue watching my film. Has this slid into your DM? No. Then you slide into his. Just say, I am some. Let's see his response. Okay. What? She shoot the first shot. This is getting interesting. Waiting for do when them say I no go fit me up. Waiting for do when they almost spoil my day. Baba, baba, God, you too. Ask him. Ask him whether he's in a relationship. Are you in a relationship? What? I can't believe this. What did he say? He said he's single and ready to mingle. This is getting interesting. <laughs> Are you sure you want to do this? Me, I don't want Wahala. Babe, chill. Chill now. I am the director here. You know what? I need you to play along. Give him your number. If possible, Sev, send him your nude pictures. What? Are you out of your mind? See as you they shout. Now nah, joke, Joe. But seriously, I need you to play along. Let's see whether he will ask you out. You sure say you love this babe? Considering the way you attacked her the other day. Brother, I am in love. If Kufo says yes today, I will take her straight to the altar tomorrow. Is it that serious? More serious than you can imagine. Anyway, I wish you the best of luck. I know you guys are going to make a wonderful couple. Oh, speak of the devil. Or in this case, the angel. My angel. Hello, Kofo dear. How are you doing this fine evening? Oh, really? Well, that sounds fantabulous. Hmm. Oh, Yibo. I wanted to give you my reply. I'm all ears. I am sorry. But I have to decline your proposal. I'm leaving the country. You are? When? For what? I'm leaving very soon for studies abroad. Really? Wow! Congratulations! I'm very happy for you. James, I'm going to be away for a while. I don't know how you feel about that. It's okay. Let's see how it goes. I still appreciate you coming out to see me that day and giving me an audience. And for calling now. Thank you, Kofu. You are welcome. We'll still see before you go, right? If you say so. So, how far? The conversation started sounding somehow. After you said, ho. Oh. <sighs> she said no. Really? Did you miss fire or something? No, nah. She said she's going abroad for about a year. I guess I will have to wait. You mean you are going to wait for another year? Bros. We may not finish for this world. If it, 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 and when I wake up in the morning, it's definitely you. Oh, I love you too, dear. You're my prince charming. The one I want to spend the rest of my life with. I am glad to hear this. And I promise you undiluted love. Fresh love like today's bread. Okay, I believe you. You have no reason to doubt me. Do have a sweet night rest. You too, dear. I love you. I love you more. I go love you. Oh. Please do, so that you would have somebody call you every night to wish you sweet dreams. Guess who is calling? Ronaldo. Very good. Pick the call and play along. Put it on speaker. 
Hello, Ronaldo. Hello, sweetie. How are you doing? I'm fine. And you? I'm good, too. I just feel like hearing your sweet voice before going to bed. Oh, really? Yes, dear. Don't you know that if you hear a sweet voice before going to bed, you are sure of having a sweet dream? Tell me more. It's not as if there are no birds in the sky, but the blue jay is the most beautiful. It's not as if there are no fishes in the sea, but the mandarin fish stands out beautiful, colorful, and attractive. It's not as if I haven't seen a lady before, but you are exceptional, beautiful, and elegant. Uh-uh. Your mouth is sweet. How did you know I'm beautiful and elegant when we haven't met before? Your pictures on Instagram says it all. You're natural and beautiful without makeup. What you see on Instagram are filtered pictures, so don't be fooled. I can tell a filtered picture when I see one. Please do me a favor of meeting you, even if it is just once. Meet me? No, I don't want your girlfriend to break my head. I don't have a girlfriend. Are you sure? I cross my heart. Anyway, I need to go now. Feeling sleepy already. Okay, dear. You can go to bed now. Have a sweet night rest. You too. Chai! This guy is mad! What are you going to do now? You mean, what are we going to do now? See, when next he calls you and asks you out, you would accept. Then? Then you play along. Are you sure you won't regret this? See, there is no regret in this. I need to be sure if he's worth my love. What you come, what you come, what you come, reverse Sam If he, if he, if he, if he, if he don't be for your love Wait enough for you when them say I no go fit me come Wait enough for you Has Ronaldo called yet? Yes, he called me yesterday What did he say? Nothing serious, just asking regular questions Have you eaten? What did you eat? Where are you? Hope your day is not stressful And so on See, I want you to flash him now Let's see what I will call back. He's calling back. Pick the call. Pick the call and tell him you feel like hearing his voice. Hello, handsome. Hello, sweetie. You just flashed me. Yes, I'm bored. I just feel like talking to someone. Then, you crossed my mind. Wow, that's good to hear. I am also bored here. I've been indoors since. So? So, mm, would you mind paying me a visit, say, tomorrow? And if you don't want to come to my house, we can go out. I would have loved to come, but I, I, I'm broke. Don't worry. I will take care of your transport fare. Really? Yes. Send your account details. Wow. You're such a gentleman. Do we have a date already? Yes. I can't wait to see you. Same here. I can't wait to see that beautiful face. Okay, dear. Take care. Bye. Man. 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 What's the next plan, Madam Director? <laughs> okay. Tomorrow is the D day. Hello, BC. Hello, Kofu. How are you? Long time. Yes. Hope you are good. I'm fine. How is the baby? It's fine. He wants to finish all the food in my body. That was one of the joys of motherhood. Abio, eh? So, where are you now? I was wondering if we can see. I am bored. Just sitting at home and nursing. Please, come over. Hey, ya. Yeah. I would have loved to, but I am presently on my way to the airport. Airport? Are you traveling? Yes. I'm going abroad for studies. Wow. Studies? is good, oh. But, Kofo, which studies are you going for again? Kilo too cool. Focus on getting your husband now. A woman's prime is not long, ago. Thank you, BC. But I know what I want. And I am going for it. Husband will come when he's ready. Okay, oh. It's your life. Have a safe journey then. Thank you. Have a nice day too. And feed our baby well, oh. <laughs> no problem.
problem. Take care. It's your boyfriend. Y you mean our boyfriend? Pick it now. Are you not his date? Maybe only dates. Namont. Hello, handsome. Hello, dear. How are you today? I'm fine. Thank you. And you? I am fine too. I hope you are already on your way. Yes, dear. I just can't wait to see you. Same here. Hello, Alpha. Are you close? Yes, I'm close. Oh, I can see the car coming. Nice one, Mr. Loverboy. For your information, Sandra here is my friend. We planned everything together. Ah, I knew it. I know she's your friend. That is why I, I played along. So, so that you can have your way. Liar. I never introduced her to you. So how come you know she's my friend? I just suspect that something isn't right somewhere. I know you. And I know what you are capable of doing. Since you know, how come you fell for the trap? I, 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 I just wanted you to have your way. Since you have decided to test me. I am sick and tired of your games. I beg, let me be. You are only pretending. I caught you red and dead. Just face it and stop acting smart. You see what I told you? Don't you get it? This guy is pretending. That's not the point. The point is, we shouldn't have done it in the first place. Let's not go back to that. I have gotten what I need to know. Let's go. Shit! This girl is mad. How could she do that? But, we to... What is going to happen now? What are you going to do? I don't even know. The most annoying thing is the denial. He's trying to be smart. Gosh, this guy is something else. What if he wasn't pretending? What if he knew all along? Why are you talking like this? Aren't you my friend? From all indications, does it truly seem as if he knows? I'm confused here. Maybe I should have waited till you guys are both on bed. Uh-uh. Which one is that again? I beg, I beg. Not just annoy me this afternoon. Because I warned you from the onset. Baba God, I don't know where I forget today. If you don't for your love, I for don't die. Take tail. If you, if you, if you, if you don't for your love, I for don't play me. Take tail. If you, if you, if you, if you, if you don't for your love, that December ting tings. Baby, pick your call now. Okay, let me text her. Go disaster, but you come, but you come, but you come reverse her. If he, if he, if he, if he, if he know me for your love, oh. waiting out for you when them say I no go fit me, come. Waiting out for you when they almost spoil my day, Baba, Baba, God, you too much. Oh. I don't know what I do when you love me so. I don't know what I do when you like me so. Yes, what do you want? I'm sincerely sorry for everything that happened. It's okay. You know how Ruth can be sometimes. She was on my neck for months, pleading that I help her. She loves you, just that she's insecure. That's okay. So, how far? Has she picked your call? Not yet. I even texted her, but she didn't respond. The funny thing is, she already blocked me on her social media accounts. She's taking this too far. I've also tried to talk to her, but she won't listen. Let's give her some time. I believe she will come around. I hope so too. So, how is your day going? Fine. And yours? Well, we are managing. Anyway, take care of yourself. You too. Bye. What did I do when you love me so? I don't know what did I do when you like me so? You too, they, you too, they, you too, they bless me. Yo, this guy, God, you too, too, too. Hi, Sandra. What is wrong? Nothing much. Just having malaria. No, I took some herbs already. No now, self-medication isn't good. Have you called Ruth? Yes, she's not picking my calls anymore. Don't worry, I'll be with you shortly. No, don't bother, I will be fine. Let me bother.
bother. Oh, yeah. yeah, my son. How is he? Please, ma. Don't wake him up. The doctor says he needs rest. Hey, hey. And who are you? My name is Sandra. I'm his friend. Oh, yeah, his girlfriend. He has told me a lot about you. And thank you so much for being there for him. That's what friends are for. But, ma, I'm not his girlfriend. We are just friends. Hmm. Emma Tenai, I have heard. He will be fine. Thank God the lady brought him on time. Otherwise, it would have been worse. Ha! Oh, you are sure? Yeah, he will be discharged tomorrow. And that's his girlfriend. Maybe she will listen to you. Tell her to go home and get some rest. She was with him all through the night. Hey, yeah. He fell me. That's the same way I loved my husband. Whenever he falls sick then, I will stay beside him all through. It does the same for me too. Anyways, I will make sure she goes home to rest. Better. Don't you think it's high time you forgive your boyfriend? Forgive? How do I forgive somebody who is not willing to admit his mistake? How do you expect him to admit it when you didn't give him a chance to explain himself? At least, pick his call, meet up with him, and talk it over. I'm very sure that's him calling again. If you still love this guy, settle your differences and continue your love. I will forgive him, but it's not your time. When? I, I don't know. Excuse me. Hello? Hi. I just wanted to thank you for the other day. You don't need to mention. What are friends for? My mom has been asking after you. She asked me to invite you over for dinner. That's not necessary. Maybe you should tell her yourself. Wait. Is she there with you? My daughter, how are you? Fine, ma. Good afternoon, ma. I am inviting you over for dinner this Saturday. My son will pick you up. Okay, ma. Thank you, my dear. God will honor you. Amen. Let me give the phone back to your boyfriend. We are just friends, ma. Emma, there are in there. I see we were not once you like you. So, where and when do I pick you up on Saturday? I will text you the details. Okay, bye. <coughs> and who is that? A friend. Is there any friend that you have that I don't know? Well, he's a new friend. We met a couple of weeks back. And you didn't tell me about him. Wait, Seth. When did we start keeping secrets from ourselves? I was going to tell you. Besides, he's just a friend. Nothing serious. Eh, is he handsome? Do you like him? Handsome? Yes. Do I like him? Hmm, I love him. And I will say yes the moment he asks me out. Have you done your research whether there's a main chick in his life already? Well, the main chick fucked up. So, I will be taking her place. Hmm, just be careful, eh? Be careful. Thank you, my friend. You are the best thing that has happened to me. Why did Sandra keep saying we are just friends? Because we are just friends. We are not dating. And what is stopping you from asking her out? Don't you like her? Of course I like her, but it's complicated. What's the complications? Mom, you won't understand. Anyways, the girl is a good girl, and I can tell she loves you. I also know you love her too, so don't lose your chance. Okay, mommy. I will give it a thought. Remember you are my holy son. I can't wait to see my grandchildren. Ruth, don't you think we are taking this too far? Is it not time you settle things with Ronaldo? I've heard you, but I don't think I can ever trust him again. If you had not put up that stupid prank, this wouldn't be happening. Babe, can we discuss something else? Whose side are you? I am on nobody's side. You dragged me into this mess. I don't want to be the reason for a failed relationship. Babe, is it your relationship? Why are you taking this too personal? If you care so much about Ronaldo, then go ahead and date him. After all, he likes you. Did you just say that? Take two pills. 
It's my relationship. Let me handle it my way. Hello, dear. I'm good, Jerry. I'm ready. I will meet you at the junction. I'm going out. Suit yourself. Oh, yeah. Mom! Guess who I have here? Good evening, Ma. Ha! My wife. How are you? I'm fine, Ma. And how are your parents? They're all fine. Thank you, Ma. Please sit down, my daughter. Get her something to drink. Thank you. I should be thanking you, eh, Okomi. If it was not for you, I don't know what would have happened to my son, the only child, Renato. Thank you for taking him to the hospital that day. It's nothing, ma. I was just being a good... Eh, hey, hey. Don't say that. You're more than a friend. You are our wife. Mommy! Please, please. Don't you know that it's every mother's prayer that her children bring home good daughters and sons in law? It's okay, ma. We're getting there. Good. Let me go and set the table. I'm preparing something delicious for you. Wow. Let me assist you then. I can't let you stress yourself. Thank you, my dear. I even have a lot of things to discuss with you. Tell me, Sandra, how did you two meet? Ah, Ma, it's a long story, oh. We are starting the story now. You like story too much, Mom, me. Go on, dear. Well, we met through a friend. After a while, we just grew close, and here I am. Yeah, may God bless that friend that brought you two together. <laughs> it's enough now. You don't know how happy I am. From the first day I saw Sandra, I've just liked her. She's humble, good, and very beautiful. What more can I ask for? Just one thing, though. Your family. My family? Yes. What happened to our family? Not to know my children. I would like to know about them and even meet them soon, by the grace of God. My family is fine and well, ma, but they live outside Lagos. Okay. Are your parents together? Yes, ma. That's good. And your siblings? They are fine. How many are they? Ha! Mommy! It's drizzling! I have to leave now before the rain increases. Ronaldo, please come and see me off. No, I can't let you do that. That will be good. This rain is going to turn to a heavy downpour any moment from now. And you won't even see any vehicle by now. It's late already. Ronaldo can drop me off. Eh? Please, I insist. I want you to spend the night. After all, tomorrow is Sunday. Oh, okay, ma. Thank you. Ronaldo, we are sure our room. Sorry we don't have a guest room, my dear. Help us manage. It's alright, ma. Thank you very much. Here's your room for the night. I have some clothes in the wardrobe which you can change into. I will be in the sitting room. Buzz me if you need anything. Stay now. You want to leave only me in this room? No. We will gist till I fall asleep. Okay. As your lordship pleases. Your room is nice. Thank you. I hope it's not because I'm around that it is like this. Ah, no. I'm a very neat man. How's your friend? Are you serious? What? Is she not your friend? Is she not your girlfriend? But she threw me away. You know now. You were there. And I'm the vulture that is taking her leftover, right? No. It's not like that. You are my friend, just like you are our friend. Don't mind my mom. She thinks you are the one I've been dating all this while. But you are something else, so. How could you be dating Ruth all this while and your mom didn't know her at all? Or were you just playing with the girl? I wasn't. I really liked her. I was just giving her some time before the introduction. Really? Okay. The truth is that 
I was skeptical of her behavior a bit. You know how pessimistic she is, especially concerning men. Yeah, but in your case, you know you proved her right. Yeah, I know. Hmm. Now, wow. That reminds me, why are you called Ronaldo? Is your dad from Brazil? No. But he likes football. Reason why he named me after a popular Brazilian footballer. And he has always wanted me to be a footballer. But I love my ICT. I learned there is so much money in football. Yes, there is. But for me, passion supersedes money. Last, last, everybody will be alright. Yes, so, personal fulfillment is what matters. Parents shouldn't compel their child to follow a career path against their wish. I thank God my parents understand that. <sighs> I can see you want to sleep. Let me leave you. No, don't go. You can share the bed with me. I'll be fine on the couch. No, I insist. It's your bed after all. You can't be sleeping on the couch. Come and join me. Okay. And please, turn off the light. Am I taking things too far? It's been months now since Ronaldo and I spoke. And we're supposed to be in a relationship. Perhaps, Sandra is right. I should hear him out. I should speak with him before I finally lose him to someone else. This silence between us is enough. Yeah. Will you promise to love me to the end of the time, yo, baby? baby, baby. If I live with Hello Ronaldo, how are you? Fine, thank you, and you? I'm not fine. Can we talk? Yes, go ahead. Can we at least meet to talk things over? Let's discuss it on phone. I'm indisposed at the moment. Are you agree with me? Babe, go straight to the point. I am very busy here. You see what I'm saying? You are arrogant. You try to cheat on me, yet you don't want to admit it. Are you done talking? Is that what you're going to say? Can we talk some other time? I need to go now. What? He had the phone on me. Gosh, this guy is mad. I have taken things too far. I need to go see him and sort things out. Oh, your problem, I know, say solution. Now, here go, oh, baby. Follow me, follow me. Oh, baby. I came to see you. I can see that. Why are you giving me attitude now? It's me, Ruth. -o. Ruth, what do you want? Uh uh. Okay, we need to talk. See, I'm going out. So, I can't see you now. Maybe some other time. Excuse me. Ronaldo, wait, wait, wait. Wait. Oh my god. What is happening? Party made a shove your eyes because this time you must hustle. This hey, this exactly go. what I need. What's up? I cannot dance again. Is it not my dancing? Sorry, continue. I'm not dancing again. You've killed the mood. Which your yeah, yeah, mood? The one that your mystery boyfriend has put you by. <laughs> Speaking of my mystery boyfriend, he proposed. What? Who? You're engaged? How? How else do people get engaged? He got on one knee and... I know how. I meant how. Just like, just like that. What do you mean just like that? Do you think everybody is like you? Waiting for eternity before you marry the person you are dating? See, no insult me, Abego. So in your own mind now you are lucky. Because you are suddenly engaged to a guy that is afraid or too big to show his face to your best friend. Only God knows if he's even a human being self. He's a real human being. You'll soon meet him. Don't worry. Anyway, how's your guy? Babe, he's not talking to me. I have tried reaching out to him for some time now. You remember the day I told you I went to his house and he just brushed me aside and said he was going out and he couldn't see me. Not even a second. I'm sure he was going to see one side chick. Ah, Kai, I have suffered. 
Don't mind all these Lagos girls. They are vultures, all of them. They know they take a see man, especially another person man. Oh, Sandra, you were right that time. I think I'm losing him. You've already lost him. It's okay. I'm sure if he's meant for you, he'll come back, no matter what. He must, though. He must. I don't know if I can undo losing him. Pick your call now. I saw your boyfriend do you wish. Fiance. Ronaldo is my fiance. Have you forgotten? Oh, sorry. And I'm not picking the call. Eh? Hey, who is that? It's one yeah yeah guy that has been disturbing me for a while. Eh? How long? Like, I don't know. A, a few weeks, sir. How many weeks, Ruth? Three months. Three months? That's before your fight with Ronaldo. Wow. And you didn't send the guy packing since then? I did now, but he won't take no for an answer. What does that mean? Have you gone out with him? Did you go out with him when you and Roro were still together? Who is Roro? Sorry, Ronaldo. Since when did you start calling him Roro? Uh, don't you know that Roro is a short form for Ronaldo? Ask those people that watch football. I have never heard anyone call Ronaldo that. It's girls that use Roro. It's a girl thing. Mm, okay, so where was I? Have you gone out with him? No, I didn't. I haven't gone out with him. Okay. Are you thinking of going out with him? Well... Oh my god. You like him. Can you blame me? At least he's always there. He's always been there. Uh, not like you know who. Okay. I can see that this guy is always there. The way he called over and over. You are obviously talking with him. And you are forming holy holy here for me when we are doing the same thing. You can pick the color, talk with your mystery guy. At least he's not a spirit like your fiance. Tell your guy that he must come and see me first for your bride prize. Yeah, yeah. You have been a very good friend to me since I moved down to Lagos. Thank you so much for everything. You are welcome. Why are you saying all this? I've got an apartment. So, I will be moving out any moment from now. Oh, I'm going to miss you. Same here. Well, it's all for good. Is it somewhere close? No, it's on the island. Now, wow, I love long, long. So, when are you moving? This weekend. Ah, uh -uh. why this weekend? You know I will not be around. Oh, that's true. Not to worry, I will drop the address. Better. And how is your mystery boyfriend? You mean you wouldn't introduce him to me before you move out? Don't worry, you'll meet him soon. I hope he's not scamming you. You know guys, oh, they can even marry a woman just to have their way with her. And that's the end. Hmm, men, they can do and undo. Ruth, guidance counselor. Mm. Don't you think it's time you let this go and focus on your own relationship? You're always home alone these days. What about your secret admirer? Maxwell. <clears throat> give that one a beg. Let him keep dreaming. I think you should give the guy a chance. Chance, Annie. I'd rather be home alone than do that. Hmm. Faithful girl. Your loss, Sha. My Ronaldo will come for me. We shall see now. Now, wow. What a life. My friend has gotten happily engaged. Right under my nose. Well, I haven't seen my guy's break light for weeks. What kind of turn of fortune is this, God? See what I have caused for myself. Oh, Ronaldo, please come back. Come back. This song is dedicated to my lovely girl. My lady, my baby. But let's do this. Okay. Whenever I... These clothes are so expensive. I wonder if these vendors want us to start walking around naked. <laughs> If we do that, they'll make body cream expensive. Uju, is that you? Yes, how are you day? I'm fine, thank you. Now wow, we don't see you for Sandra wedding introduction. Wait, which Sandra? Uh-uh, didn't she tell you? Mobe, Sandra is getting married, and I don't know. Ever since she left my house, she hasn't called me, and she has stopped picking my calls. I don't even know where she stays now. The only thing I remember was that one mystery guy engaged her. And you guys didn't fight before she moved out? 
fight care. Anyways, our wedding is in two months' time. I'm actually here to get matching accessories for the Ashwebi. So serious? Do you by chance know the man she's marrying now? Yes, um, Roro, like she calls him. I think I have their pictures on my phone. Roro, please let me see that picture. Yeah, my Ronaldo. No, this one is Sandra's Ronaldo. No wonder. What's going on? Nothing, my friend. I need to go now. It's nice to see you. I'll see you some other time. Same here. Bye. That's me. I feel a smiling too. Cause a smile alone, they care a bit melly too. Now only I know. You're doing Ojoro. Which Ojoro? I am the all-time champion here. Please come in. So it's true. Ruth, what are you doing here? <laughs> I am not surprised about you. I always knew you are a cheat and a liar. As for you, Sandra, I thought you were my friend. Ruth, don't act like the victim here. Can you remember the last thing you said when I advised you to get back with him? You see your relationship. Why are you taking this too personal? If you care so much about Ronaldo, then go ahead and date him. After all, he likes you. Did you just say that? I didn't do anything bad. I only took your advice. What stupid advice, you husband snatcher? Enemy friend. Ruth, can you please leave my house? I will go. But my God will judge both of you. My God will judge both of you. Oh God, I will judge you. Uh, uh. Ruth! When she smiles at me, I feel I'm smiling too. Cause a smile alone, they care a bit. Where am I? You are in the hospital, dear. Where am I here? Your friends brought you here. They said you fainted. Doctor said it was shock. I fainted? Yeah! I'm a kumoku What is wrong, dear? Please stop crying. Did those friends tell you anything? No. They are bastards, both of them. Evil people. Ah, ah. What happened? Ah, oh, 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 uh, 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 but you're also to be blamed. How could you? With your eyes wide open, send your money to temptation. You shouldn't have done that. Men do misbehave, but you do not distrust them. So a level has this. But how could I have trusted him without testing him? Was it not your husband whom you trusted so much that I had an affair with your best friend? What? Don't tell me that is the reason you did what you did. Every relationship is different. My marriage with Splendid is different from the relationship you had with Ronaldo. You should not generalize all relationships and all men. Ah, uh, I think we have finished. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. No, you are not. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Do we know you? I'm Ruth's colleague at work, Maxwell. Is that so? You didn't have to come. I heard and I had to rush down here. Hope you are feeling okay. Maxwell, I'm not okay. Sorry about whatever happened to you. I wish I could make it better. I don't like seeing you like this. The office is not the same without you. Maxwell. Yes? All men are egots. No need to say sorry. Make it home in my Range Rover. I can show you off, let me be your mother. I know go use you, play rara. I have been trying to tell you something for two weeks now, but you don't want to give me even one second. Look, Maxwell, you might have been a knight in shining armor for me at the hospital. But now, I'm fine. There's no need for you to follow me everywhere. Abba, it's not like that, Ruth. Thank you for being there for me in my time of despair. But honestly, I can't be around any guy now. Try to understand. I understand. But if you can hear what I have to say now, then I'll leave you alone. Okay, I'm listening. Ruth, you know we have been friends for a long time and colleagues long before then. I have always wanted to say this to you, but you never gave me a chance. I love you and I want to give you nothing but happiness. 
Will you go out with me? No! Baby, which one would you like? I want chocolate. Okay, give us. Excuse me, could you please focus on what you're supposed to be doing? Baby, calm down. What did she do to you? Didn't you see the way she was looking at you? She was looking at both of us. She's selling a market now. She was flirting with you. Baby, seriously, you can't imagine things. It had better be my imagination. No, no one flirts with my man. Let her keep her eyes on her ice cream. No How is your boyfriend, Maxwell? He's alright. He said I should extend his greetings. Tell him thank you. He's really a good man, especially with the way he has been tolerating you. What do you mean? Ruth, I'm your sister. I can't tell you lies. You have been a terrible girlfriend. You have become worse than before. If you continue like this, you will lose him. Will that be a surprise? That's how men are. When they see small things they don't like, they will disappear. Fear. Yet, they expect us to condone them doing any harm. Ruth, I've told you before. Relationships are different. Focus on building your own. Not judging and generalizing all men. I'm sure you will not like to hear men saying bad things about all women. The world is a love for the wise, my dear sister. Say what you want, auntie. Say what you want. I will never let anyone deceive me like Ronaldo and Sandra. In fact, let's discuss something else, please. All right. You owe me 3,000 naira for the other day. Ah, uh, uh-huh, write that now. You asked for a new topic. Lizzie? Maxwell? Wow, it's been a long time. Indeed, good to see you again. <clears throat> Lizzie, this is my girlfriend, Ruth. Ruth, meet Lizzie, my schoolmate from way back. We went to the same secondary school and university. Nice to meet you. Same here. Excuse me. Okay. How far now, Max? Your mates don't marry finish. Are you still doing lover boy? Better hurry up and wife your babe. Or you just turn to small boy at alumni meeting. So, you two have joined marriage committee members. Before uncle, what am I waiting for? You two, what are you waiting for? Old man. Come and give me money now. Lizzie, Lizzie. See? I'm in a hurry. Please, may I get your phone number so that we can, you know, catch up? I need to see your brother too. I have not been able to reach either of you. I need to be part of any WhatsApp group that our fellow alumni may have. Which group? <laughs> Nobody has the time to talk there. But Maxo, why your babe go front now? Don't mind her. She's probably thinking of something important. Anyway, take care. Maybe one of these days, we can all go on a friend's meet or double date. Your number, please. All right, zero eight zero okay. three one. Mm -hmm. What? What the hell, Ruth? Are you serious, Maxwell? Which number are you collecting? You have the mind to flirt with this whole right in my presence, Ruth. This man snatcher, Ruth. She is married. And so that hasn't stopped anyone before now. Okay, I think I should leave. Yes. Please do that. Wait, Lizzie. You have... I'm very sorry. No need. I'm a psychologist, remember? I say things like this a lot. Your girlfriend needs therapy as soon as possible. Before something worse than this happens. I'm really sorry. Take care. Ruth, why? Why are you such a bitter woman? Why did you do that? Do what? She was still talking to you about me, eh? You are still acting like an idiot? You slapped me! Ruth! No! I kissed you! Chai! You are the worst girlfriend ever! I don't have to put up with all this rubbish! Max! W wait! Wait! <laughs> What's this? Why are you crying? Do you even cry? I... 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 Such a drama queen! Please don't hate me! Please! I have a hard time trusting! Is that news? I hate the way you're comfortable around other women. 
Maybe you should build a cage and lock me inside. Oh wait, my entire relationship with you is already a cage. See, you don't know how it feels. You're not a woman. Yes, but I have a mother and a sister and other female relatives and friends and none of them act like this. None of those women is dating you. Eh? I don't want to lose you, Max. I don't want to lose you. I am not an object that you own. I'm a human being. Max, I have been hurt before and... There you go again. I'm tired of this your sub story about your former relationship. So you don't even care? I do, Ruth. I care. And I also care about my well-being. And because of that, Ruth? Yes? Ruth, will you? Yes? Will you? Please, stay out of my life. What? I beg you in the name of God. Please, stay out of my personal life. Your drama is too much. If you can't handle the way I live and the people I meet, then I don't think I want to be with you anymore. Are you kidding me? I promised you that I will give you nothing but happiness. You see me talk to other ladies, makes you constantly unhappy. Then I guess I'm not good enough for you. Ah, oh, Max, no, 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 Max, no. We can't go on like this. Goodbye. <laughs> Max, Max, Max. If you don't come back, I'll kill myself. Crocodile tears. Ruth, are you mad? What's wrong with you? You want to commit suicide? You don't want me again. What else is there to live for? Look here, don't you ever do this again. You hear me? You should have let me kill myself, Max. You should have let me kill myself. You can't leave me like that. I can't live without you, Max. Okay, okay. I'm not leaving again. Really? Yes. As long as you promise not to attempt suicide again. I promise. Thank you. Thank you. Chai. Youths of nowadays. Make you home in my Range Rover. I can show you off, let me be your mother. I don't go use you, play around. I don't go use you, play around. Hello, James. How are you? And how is your bodo, you boo? I am good. And the weather is always cold. I can't imagine how they fare with this kind of weather all their lives. The same way they are wondering how we manage with the sun and heat every day. Even doing a matan. Okay now. <laughs> so how are your studies going? Hope you are showing them that Ninja SLS. Hmm. Yes, I am trying my best. Experience is the most important. Yes, yes. Experience. Get as much experience as you can and make good memories. Sure I will. I am here waiting for you. Don't worry. In few months time, I will be back. Is that James? Yes, mommy. Don't you think you should tell the young man the truth? If he truly loves you, he will stay. Mommy, I can't take such risk. What if he leaves? No, I don't want to lose him. What if he later finds out? He can never find out. United States is far from Nigeria. Mom, all I need from you is your support. I don't want to end up as a single mother. I want to get married and have a happy home. I also wish you that, my daughter. Good then. So, as agreed, I will hand over my baby to you after a few months of delivery. No problem. Thank you for nearly giving me a heart attack last month, Madam Drama Queen. Aren't you the cause? You wanted to break my heart just like that when you know I love you so much. Really? Yes! So, you really meant it when you said you can't live without me? Yes. This is serious. Should I do it? I don't think you should. Look before you leap, oh. Da! Don't mind me, Maxwell. Go for it. Follow your heart. Yes, we're a couple. And we're in a serious relationship. You really think we're that serious? It's just been five months. So, are you saying you're not serious with me? No, no. I was asking you. She's even very presumptuous. And so, it's normal thing. And those five months have been hell. You better wise up. Marriage is longer than five months. It's not that bad. They're in love. Okay, that's my answer. We are serious. You can't live without me for one day. It's not easy. You know me. I can't lose you. But why do you ask me this? 
Don't you want me to be around you? Are you traveling or something? Or, or do you want to leave? Don't you love me? My guy, you can't afford to lose this Mumu naive girl that worships you like this. I love you. I just wish you can be less overbearing and overprotective and less jealous than you are right now. She won't change anything. Don't. Yes, go ahead. Ruth, my love. Yes? Will you be my roommate for the rest of our lives? Huh? No! Ha 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 ha! Love is blind. Oh my god! Max! Well? Yes! Yes! I will! Yes! Yes! Oh my god! Yes! You don't enter. You are on your own. Welcome, ma. Thank you. That was a vacation. It wasn't a vacation, so to say. I went to study. All the same, thank you. Take me to the supermarket first. We we'll get a few things before reaching home. Okay, ma. Thank you. You know you're very romantic. <laughs> Is that so? Yeah. Most men cannot even step in the kitchen to assist their wives. Well, I guess I'm different. Yeah, you are. Honey, is that not your phone ringing? Oh, I left it in the living room. I'll be right back. What's taking him so long? Has he forgotten I'm here? Who is he laughing with now? Who the hell is he discussing with like that? Really? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, he said what? Can you imagine? You now did what? <laughs> Kai, I've told you many times. You don't do that. It's only to a guy. It's definitely a girl he's talking to. I think I hear a female voice. Can you imagine Maxwell? He left me, a old me, in the kitchen to go and talk to a girl. Aha. So you started calling women in this house, right in my presence, when I am around. Ha! This is the height of it. Excuse me, please. What's your problem now? Hmm. You are the one that has a problem, Maxwell. You are the one with the problem. You left me alone in the kitchen to start chatting with your side chick in the room. So, this is what your useless friend Efe has been teaching you. He has been getting you girls. Abby? Please, carry your nonsense and go away. Hello? Hello? Hmm. Hello? I shall walk back for because my snatcher. Uh, don't you ever, don't you ever, ever call this line or else I will curse you. Auntie Ruth. Mi Miriam. Is something wrong, ma? Uh, um, uh, no, 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 no. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. Aren't you tired of embarrassing yourself like this? Eh. Uh, I will soon catch you one day. I will catch you. So, you are praying for me to cheat? So you want to cheat? You have issues. When will you change? They want to know how we put the crowd. They want to know how we win the crowd. They want to know how we win the crowd. ever in your life. Say that nonsense to me again. What is going on here? Why don't you ask your stupid husband? Useless man. Shy. Uh uh. They want to know how we put the crowd. They want to know how we win the ground. They want to know how we win the race. Oh, more cool, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see Jello, I see Jello. No, cool, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see Jello, I see Jello. No, cool, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see Jello. Honey, where are you going? I want to use the restroom. Okay. Lizzie, who is Lizzie? Lizzie, this is my girlfriend, Ruth. Ruth, meet Lizzie, my schoolmate from way back. We went to the same secondary school and university. Nice to meet you. Who? 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 That married slut! I knew it! Ah! 
I knew it. So this is how he rose with married women. Abibeko, he even sends her money. I have finally caught him. He is finished today. Ah! Will you marry me? Yes. It's me. What the hell? How do you explain this? Thanks, dear. I received the alert. See you at the party. Is that why you hit me on the head? Do you want to kill me? Maybe you'll be better off dead. At least you won't cheat. What? Are you mad? You think I'm a fool? Or they look at me, Abby? Another lady is calling you, dear. What does that mean? You didn't even send that money. Money where you suppose you take care of me and your family. Will you just calm down for once? This is my old classmate. The money I sent to her is for our alumni reunion party. What does it mean if she calls me dear? It means everything. Now so it starts from dear to honey to sugar to sweetie. You think I'm dumb? I remember. I'm beginning to think you need psychiatric evaluation. Now you then they fine for your ballet. Hmm, you don't enter. You're on your own. Seven. Who's there? Effie, mommy. Maswe? Maso! Alpha! I do. I beg. I fit crash for here for a few weeks. Hmm? What's happened? Now, long story. Matter don't start again. No be small team. Come, make sure you know you stop killing you. But what did do you for head? Guy, forget that thing. I did rush come on. I don't look road. Eh, hey, yeah. So do you. Efe, thank you for letting me stay here. Honestly, I'm not happy. How can a married man run away from his matrimonial home? I wonder myself. I think there's more than just quarreling between you two. Hmm. Why are you quiet now? Guy, it's very serious. My house is on fire. Fire? How? Chai, you won't understand though. Talk now. How I want to talk him? Man, no fit talk that kind of thing. Now they fight? Wait, oh, I should bust your head like this, oh. I took her, and you were hiding it. It's not the first time. And you have been forming happy us by all this, why? This is domestic abuse, oh. Who can I tell? No one would even take me serious. Oh, boy. That woman go kill you. Which guy fight be that? I am tired. I don't feel like going back. But you know we want you. We all want you. I'm sure even your conscience, it won't you join. But you were drunk in love. Mm. Three good years. You try you. Listen to me. I could not move. Tete. Hmm. Do you know she's the reason I lost my former job? No way. She went beyond her boundary one day and she called my boss a shell just because the woman called me late in the night. Oh, voko voko. It was like a dream. Guy, you woman won you. Yeah, yeah. Hello? Auntie BC, I'm in soup! What happened? It's Maxwell! What did he do? He has left the house! Why? I... 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 Ruth, I know Maxwell and I know you. What did you do? I mistakenly pushed him when we were discussing about something. Discussing, Ke? What kind of discussion is that? Okay, fine. We were arguing. You know, I, I swear it was a mistake. Hmm. Hope you did not break his head. Being a widow is not easy. Uh, please come and help me beg him. My room help me beg him. Hmm. I won't lie to you. I'm not interested in coming at all. Ah, uh, why? You two are married. It is not boyfriend and girlfriend relationship anymore. I'm not going to go and be caught in a crossfire between you two. He may end up transferring his anger to me. And in fact, any of your family members. Uh, please help me, Auntie me. You are your own. You have to go and beg him yourself. He's your husband, not mine. Go and plead with him. Or you can perhaps go with Masuo's family member. Who will be able to talk to him? Honey, 
Oh dear. Please, can you tell me what is going on? Ronaldo, who was that girl that slapped you in broad daylight? What were you discussing with her? Why did she slap you? What is going on between... Guys! Who is that? It's me, Ruth. Ruth? Ruth? How did she know I'm here? I'm, I'm sorry, ma. She called me last night. I can't prevent you, ma, from seeing her husband now. Oh, God. Maxwell, my husband. Please, I'm sorry for what happened. It was the work of the devil. Everything a devil. Please, eh, please, Maxwell, my love. Please come back. I miss you. I can't live without you. <laughs> Oh, you want me to come back to the same house where you almost divided my score the other day? <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, it was a mistake. Did you just say mistake? Mistake, you dear. I promise you. I promise it will never happen again. Okay, I have heard you. I, have you forgiven me? Yes, but promise it will not repeat itself. I promise I won't do it again. No, I it will never happen again. Hmm. <laughs> 10 p.m. Our Maxwell is not back. <laughs> I am sure he's in one hotel with a woman. Hey, if I start now, they will say my question. Uh, route to have started again. No. Oh. Let him come back and explain what he intends doing with this traveling document. Maxo, I still surprise you. Why did you start keeping late nights? My brother, this is the only way I can avoid trouble. My prayer is that she will be asleep by the time I get home. And you think she will go to bed without seeing you? Like I care. My home is to go straight to the guest room and sleep. Shu, you may say you don't boycott your matrimonial bed. If you know you're not happy in this marriage, why not walk away rather than punish yourself? The last time I tried to walk away, she almost killed herself. So, would you rather kill yourself for her? I won't die, but live to declare the goodness of the Lord. You know now, I am processing my travel documents already. In few months time, I'll be out of this country. <laughs> Mr. Man, come, 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 come. Where are you coming from at this ungodly hour? Oof, I stayed out late to avoid your trouble. Please, don't start again tonight. Oh, I am the troublemaker here, right? I will show you that trouble this night. What I need right now is sleep, not trouble. So get you behind me, Satan. Did you just call me Satan? Ah, oh, that is why you plan on running away with another woman. I'll be back, huh? What are you talking about? Document you eat under the bed as you eat it too. Oh, you think I will not know? If you think you can leave me and run with another woman, you lie. See, you are wrong. If I can't have you, no other woman will have you. I am not running away. You are the one pushing me away. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You not too much. First of all, I am going to burn all these travel documents. And if you try to stop me, <laughs> I don't know what can happen. You dare not. I have heard enough of your nonsense in this house. Enough is enough. What will you do? What will you do? Beat me. See, if you lay your hands on me, I swear down, you will live to regret it. Shut up. You slap me. You dare raise your hand against me. Wait, I am coming. Ruth, drop it. Drop that knife. Don't let them use you. Drop it! I will kill you! I will kill myself! Yeah! Ah! Ah! You will kill me today! Yo. You will kill me today! You will kill me! Hello? Is that Shikmetori Police Station? Please, you need to come down to house 35, Wobe Housing Estate. Our neighbor is about to kill his wife, fool. Max 
Maxwell. I'm in the police custody. Shakpatari police station. I need you to come over, please. Police station? What's happening? Guy, I really don't have much time now. When you come, we'll talk. Sorry, oh, Iyawo. I me call police last night, oh. I mean, the VS said me your husband will go kill for us. Thank you, Mama Bomboy. But you shouldn't have called the police now. Uh -uh, it was just a small misunderstanding. No talk like that. What is a small misunderstanding? You know, see as your face swear. No, no, no. No man get right to lay finger and wife like that. I am at fault. I provoked him first. Leave that one. Now today, wife don't they provoke your husband? Me, why I even stumble past yourself? My husband never raised his hand against me. Last, last, he will come off for us until my craze don't come down. You see, Anna? Chris? Does that mean I have been acting crazy towards my husband? Leave that thing. Now every woman get crazy. See, eh? Now as you love your husband rich, now so your craze go deep. So, na love. Oh, Lord. This is not the kind of love I want in my home. Oh, I trust myself. No more feature that kind of nonsense with me. Oh. Ha. Now, why I like Papa Bomboy with that? Since we don't marry, he never raised his hand against me before. He said, no, na. If he try him, and for jelly will die put. Hello, my husband. <coughs> where you been? I did with our neighbor where your husband beat her last night. You know, eh, my husband, it, it's good to be our brother's keeper. Oh. Brother's keeper, kill you there. You look crazy. I don't think you can talk. I'll swear for you. Don't worry, my love. I will be home now. I give you just five minutes. If you don't enter this house, don't cook for me. You can see what I will do you. I'm on my way, dear. <laughs> Nonsense. Eh, uh -huh. neighbor, make a run rich house. I will come see you later in the day. Officer, now that we have fulfilled the bail conditions, are we good to go? Yes, but before we now leave, make I talk some senses into your friend, Mr. Woman Bita, in your male weather. Fight the hungry you, now you know go bars, go slap army officer. Or enter boxing ring, go fight your mates. You can't they beat your wife, you know they shame. Yeah, yeah, man. Thank your star, say your wife says she no one press charges. Otherwise, your case will be a big lesson to other woman beaters out there. I got police, you know fit understand. Before I call, how I got understand? When she never agree for you, you the beggar, buy her expensive gifts. Now when she don't marry you, you turn her to punching bag. That is wickedness. Officer, we promise, you know go up again. Better make it not happen again, no. No matter what your wife do, you have no moral justification to lay your ass or not. They are weaker vessels. They should be cared for, not battered. Thank you, officer. Like my friend rightfully said, it will never, ever happen again. Oh boy, good afternoon. Ah, neighbor, welcome. Thanks for visiting the other day. No mention. What are friends for? Ah, ah, what do you for face? Ah, no mind me, oh. Now when I did rush go market yesterday, I take a jando. <laughs> hey, yeah, sorry, oh. It can't be like saying a slap. Yeah, hey. Ah, why you they talk like that, man? Now who won't slap me? As I did like this, so it's my age. The person won't die. <laughs> I want that too. Because the mama bomboy way I know, no, they take nonsense. If anybody try him, the person go rot for jail. Now so, my friend, no time for nonsense. Mama Bomboy! Yes, my husband! I, I they come! Eh, hey, that reminds me. How your husband? Hope so you don't charge him to court. Mama Bomboy! You don't catch my voice? You mean like say you want to make I pan I beat your face again? Chai. Mama Bomboy! See, see you later! Oh, oh, oh okay! <laughs> later! You are a wife, not a punching bag. Women! You need to start speaking out. Domestic violence should not be tolerated or endured. We are not promoting divorce, neither are we encouraging broken homes. But the moment you start seeing the red flag, speak up, seek help. Do not 
die in silence. Is battery the only form of domestic violence? What about mental and psychological abuse? What about that? Oh, I forgot. It's not written on the body. It's not as obvious as battery and assault. But it also kills. It kills mentally and emotionally. Excuse me. Please, I'm looking for one slim lady with an afro-looking hairdo. I saw her around here. Yes, I know her. Oh, that's her coming. Thank you. Eh? Uh -huh. What are you doing here? You came to fight me. No, I'm not like that. Please, hear what I have to say. Okay, what do you want? Please, we are both women. Consider my condition and help me. I just want to know, what is going on between you and my husband? Hey, hey, hey. Are you alright at all? You mean you left your house and came all the way down to come and ask me this silly question. What about your husband? Can't you ask him? He doesn't want to answer me. So you think it is me that will answer you? Carry your nonsense out of my sight, Joe. See this woman no. One that shall never end. You better go and meet your useless husband and disturb him. I won't take that from you again. My husband is not useless. Oh, really? I guess you don't know your husband. Because it is only a useless man that will have a beautiful wife like you at home and still chase after small girls in the neighborhood. Oh my god! You see, he is a useless man. Maxo, what is your plan now? I need to go home and pick my travel documents. Uh, yo, your wife will call. Guy, please, I don't want to talk about that. Okay, so are you going to do it? I don't know. I don't want to call her. I don't want to hear her evil voice. Chai, she may have even burnt them as she threatened. You may have to call her then. Or start processing new travel documents. That would take long. I want to leave as soon as possible. The earlier the better. Mm. What oh? Wonderful. I just remembered. My duplicate house key is in my car. And my car key is here. It was in my pocket when I came back from the beer parlor. Nice one! Who says she never said that cow? God forbid! What has come over Maxwell? How could he lay his hand on you? I never expected it! Ah! I'm sure you must have provoked him to that extent. And see me? He was planning to run away with another woman! How sure are you? What else could he mean? He was planning to run away without me! What are you going to do now? I don't even know. I think I'm losing him. I hope he's out of police custody. Yes! What is your plan? I don't even know. Maxwell never raised his hands on me before now. I don't think he can even condone my excesses again. He has changed. You made him change. If you don't want to lose him finally, change your ways. Every man wants peace of mind. No man wants to come home to a naggy wife. And see me. I really want to change. Then go for therapy. This dress is so beautiful. And this one too. Wow. I don't know which one to pick. There are so many beautiful gowns here. I wonder if this one will fit me. What do you think? Which one do you like? Anyone will do. What do you mean? Aren't you interested in this at all? Last night when I asked you about pre-wedding photos, you said you couldn't hear me because of bad network. Now you are here and your mind is still not here. Is something wrong? Kofo? Yes? When you were going abroad, what did you tell me you are going to do there? To study, of course. To study. And how was it? How was your study? Hope it wasn't too... stressful. It was fine. How come you have not brought that study back home with you? You seem to be avoiding the topic. James, is there something you want to say? Kofo, is there something, anything you might be hiding from me? No. Hmm, are you sure? Yes. Kofo, I don't know if you know about this trending internet dance challenge. It seems someone made a video last year doing it. And now it has been trending for the past one week. I don't know. When you will not come online? Oh. Show me now. Gladly. The person that did it was in the US. It's nice though. Very creative. Is that not you at the background? I, 
I can explain. Explain what? Like you told me you were abroad studying when you were actually pregnant. What were you studying? Midwifery. James. Just save it. <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. Your wife is not around, though. Hey, yeah. And she just stepped out now. Do you want me to call her on phone? No, thank you. Honestly, what do you do, your wife? You're not good, though. He bad. No man in his right senses who beat his wife like that. Are you saying your husband is not in his right senses for always beating you? Eh? Hey! Busybody. What? You are calling off the wedding? Yes, my brother. I can't marry a woman who keeps such a big secret for my husband to be. Wow! So, Kufu was pregnant all this while she was abroad. That's strange. Very strange. I remember vividly asking her about her past relationship and she said she never had any serious one. So, where did the pregnancy come from? Have you taken time to ask her all this question? Bros, you think that's a joke? I am calling off the wedding. Now, wow! Welcome. Please have a seat. Thank you. Hope your journey down here wasn't too stressful. I want you to be relaxed. It was fine. That's good. I'm Naomi. Ruth. Okay, what brings you here? Sapping on me. Of course, but why exactly did you decide to come here? I need help. With what? With, with my life. Okay, so tell me how do you feel? Excuse me? Oh, sorry. This must be your first time. Just relax. You don't have to be all formal. Oh, okay. So, how do you feel? I feel terrible. Why? Uh, I am... I've messed up my life. I am such an unfortunate person. Why do bad things always happen to me? Calm down. Why do you feel this way? Mrs. Okay. I don't even know if I am a missus anymore. I am a married woman without a marriage. And I, I think it's my fault. I think I have a problem. Tell me about it. Hmm. This babe said to She fine. You see him guy? She did okay. Okay. Guy, what did they talk? I will not get this kind of girl as my people. <laughs> Stay there and keep dreaming of girls out of your league. The ones around you, you they see them. Come on, dear. No, no, nothing now. You know, my man picking them fine. I suppose get fine, babe. <laughs> I hear you. But wait, you. She won't take time resemble you small. Guy, stop that kind of play. Wait, see. Seriously, don't mention that name around me again. Mmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ha, Mama Bomb Boy, what is going on? Nothing, uh, what do you mean, nothing? Look at you. Why do you keep pretending? Do you want to die in silence? Hmm, I beg, I take or beg you. Make my mind on a business. Leave me and my family alone. You can't continue like this, Mama Bomb Boy. You have to do something. It's in your hands. Auntie Shope, I know if it's carry my husband go police or court of law. I know go carry my own hands, scatter my marriage. What am I picking them? You won't be able to help them if you get yourself killed with all this beating. Domestic abuse will end up hurting you and your children if you leave it like this. Hey, <sighs> I don't want any trouble. It will be fine. Please have my number. Call me when you can. See, Auntie Shokbe, there is no need for the. God help you. Good morning. Good morning. I am Mama Bomboy. Welcome, Mama Bomboy. How can we help you? My neighbor, Auntie Shokbe, she gave me you people's address. So I say make a call now for a very serious issue. 
We understand. You are very welcome. First, we want to tell you how happy we are that you have taken the first step to have come to get help. We promise to do whatsoever is in our power to help you get justice. See, I don't need justice. So. I just want to have peace. Maybe you can uh, talk to my husband. Madam. Mama Bonboy. Mama Bonboy, we are here to protect your fundamental woman rights, especially as a woman. We do not encourage negotiating with domestic abuse. Any man that raises his hand on a woman should be called to order. From what we can see, he is not listening to you and we don't think he will listen to anyone else. You don't need to be ashamed or afraid. There are many women out there who are suffering quietly like you. And that is why we want to be your voice. We do here for you. Oh, okay. So, how it go be? You will file a police report. Ha! Police! Mama Bonboy, you don't have to be scared. We will help you through every step of the way. That is why we are here. I don't think I can do this, so. My children. My family people, his family... Your life is important too. Look at me, I'm a widow. Our receptionist you first saw before coming up here. She was married at the age of 10 to a man five times her age. Huh? Yes, we are not the only ones with these kind of stories. If not for this organization, we would have very miserable lives now. So you should believe me when I say we mean you no harm. Okay. What will happen now? We are going to make him pledge never to lay a finger on you again. But we have to involve the law enforcement agency so that he will know how serious a crime it is. I hope it won't make me lose my home. Oh. My children are still young. It's to make sure that he doesn't beat you again. If he tries it, he will be arrested. Ah. Yes. Don't worry, madam. We will help you get justice. First of all, we will need you to tell us everything. Okay. Even when we fight. Oh, where is this guy now? Hello? Guy, I there outside. Why you not leave key? It's just you need to come back to evening. I left there early. Hi! I don't know now. Okay, I'm on my way. Thank God say closing time don't almost reach. Hello? Hi. You are locked out. Sorry. It's nothing. You can come and sit at my place till your friend comes back. But you don't know me. I do. You are staying with my neighbor, Efe. Oh, how come I've never seen you? You don't come out, but I still know you. I live in the next flat. Wow. Excuse me, manners. I'm Maxwell. Precious. I should have introduced myself first. You have a pretty smile. Thank you. It's been long since I saw a pretty smile like that. You are really nice. I like you. Thank you. And thanks for inviting me to your house to sit. But I'm fine here. My friend is already on his way. Okay. Welcome to the neighborhood. Thank you. Welcome again, Mrs. OK. Would you like some tea? Come and join me. No. OK. Thank you. You are welcome. So how are you? Looks like you are not in a good mood. You are really quiet today. You were more open yesterday, even though you did not say much and did more of crying. Okay, so would you prefer a deliverance session? I think I have some oil here. <laughs> I am not possessed. Of course you haven't. Not all problems are caused by demons. Human nature has its own flaws. It's called hubris. So... What do you think is your hubris? Why do you think you have this trust issue you told me about yesterday? It is my former relationship. I made a big mistake by testing my fiance with my best friend. Former best friend. Three months later, the two of them got married. Wow. Was the idea from this your ex-friend? No! It was all my idea! Hmm. I'm assuming you tested your former fiance due to the fact that you did not trust him. Yes. Did your former fiancé, what's his name? I don't want to hear him mention it. Okay. Did he ever give you a reason to doubt his faithfulness at the time? Not really. But he ended up proving me right. So, you dug a pit and pushed him into it so you could prove that he would fall into a pit. You see? This is what unhealthy harboring of mistrust can cause. 
he did wrong but you were not right either but he's not different from other lying cheating men which brings me to your current husband tell me on a scale of one to ten how happy have you been in your marriage since it began it's been all right i need more than that have you been fighting not really meaning i just get angry when i see him associating with any other lady i don't want him to leave me wow a lot of your issues seem to be going on in your head i want you to do something for me then i want you to go home and ask your husband this why did you choose me and what did you expect from our relationship i i, I will try that would be great i look forward to our next meeting <laughs> me too have a great weekend see you on monday can i call you ruth yes okay ruth Hello. Hello. Oh, sorry. I was in deep thought. I can see that. Hope all is well. Yes, yes. I mean, all is well. I'm, I'm fine. Hmm. You know, I have noticed you seem moody the few times I have seen you. Well, life is not easy sometimes. Indeed. But, um, Maxwell. Yeah? Sorry, oh. But hope you don't mind me asking this. What? Why is a good looking and well to do man like yourself staying with your friend? I thought you'd be, you know, married or engaged or something. Hmm. It's a long story. In a nutshell, I'm on my way to getting a divorce. Oh my god. I am sorry. I shouldn't have asked. It's okay. I thought you are in forever single men's club like your friend. No. Just taking a break from the heartbreak oh sorry it's part of life you know how women behave not all of us are heartbreakers some of us are looking for true love and when we find him we will treat him like an egg hmm i hear you don't worry it will get better with time you shouldn't be looking moody all the time life goes on or maybe you will work it out with i don't even pray for that to happen okay it's all good then yeah We'll see how it goes. In the meantime, as you are here in my neighborhood, I promise to take care of you. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, that sounds nice. Ah! Hey, 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 Papa Bomboy, boy, please, I take your beg you, no put me to shame like this. Hey, 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 better I don't put myself inside, oh. Women's rights, NGO, come and help me, oh. My husband doesn't make a cover for us because I report him. Hey. No feedback? Why have you been unable to ask your husband a simple question? I am not with my husband. Ruth, when you came here, you filled a form which was registered in a file. I read your file and you did not say anything about being a divorcee. We are not divorced. Yet, he just moved out and I have not seen him in weeks. He doesn't want to see me again. You've been here twice and you did not mention anything of the sort. It was very embarrassing. Ruth, this is how therapy or counseling works. I ask you questions, you talk. I listen and I give recommendations. It's just like going to see a doctor. I can't help you if you don't open up. I can't reach him. And I am scared and ashamed too. When last did you two see? I have not seen him since the last fight we had. I heard he came home last week to carry his travel documents. I wasn't around. Hmm. This is serious. I'm really worried. I asked you a question the first day you came here. I'm going to ask you again. Why are you here? I am having problems with my marriage. I have a hard time trusting my husband. And I have been very mean to him. And now he has left me never to come back. His feelings towards me have changed. I don't know where to go from here. I need help. Dear Ruth, I really want to help you. But this case of yours is now beginning to seem like more than just a personal problem. Tell me, what do you want to change? I... I it's a simple question. I want to be a better person. And what do you want concerning your husband and your marriage? I want him back. 
then this whole arrangement will not be fully successful unless it is yet. Hello? Hello? Am I speaking with Mr. Maxwell? Okay. Yes. Who is speaking? I am Dr. Naomi Lawanson, a resident psychologist and therapist at Feel Good Clinic, Uga Avenue. I am presently consulting with your wife, Mrs. Ruth, okay? Uh -huh. Yes, I would like to request your presence at our next meeting. It's of utmost importance. I'm not coming. Please, Mr. OK, could you do this for the sake of your wife's health? No. Goodbye. Offer. Who call you? It's one counselor. She wants me to come for counseling with Ruth. And are you going? No. What did he say? He said no. It's just you and me then. Hmm. No problem. Oh um, no. I'm gonna want finish person for this house. So. Chai, what am I picking go shop now? Who is that? It's me, Precious. Precious? Oh. What will I use to entertain this girl now? When I myself have not eaten. Why is she even here? Can I come in? Oh, okay. Yes, come in. Hello, Maxwell. Good afternoon. Sorry to disturb you. No, you're not disturbing me. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm surprised. You didn't tell me you were coming. Not to be rude, but I mean, I have never even invited you over. I know, but I felt you wouldn't mind. You know, this is not my house. I know, and I feel Uncle Efe won't mind too. Sorry, I haven't even offered you a seat. Please. Thank you. So, what would you like to... Shh, you don't need to stress yourself. I hope you are hungry. Precious, I told you to stop bothering with bringing food for me. I'm fine, I can cook. I know, but I still want to bring food for you. Is it a crime? No, but I can't. I promised to take care of you, remember? Yeah. So, will you taste my food for once? Okay, maybe just one spoon. What kind of woman would treat such a wonderful man badly? Too bad for her. Is here now. I am the woman. Lala, Hello. Ooh. Oh, yes, sure. Someone's here for you. Who? Come in. Maxwell! Uh, 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 uh. This is a welcome development. I can't say how happy I am to see you, Mr. OK. Maxwell. OK, Maxwell, what made you change your mind? I don't know. I guess I just wanted to see what they are doing here. <gasps> what? I thought you came because you still love me. <sharp inhale> Mr. and Mrs. OK, please calm down. I would like the two of you to cooperate so that this can work. She is the one with the problem. Tell her. I am not mad. Mr. Maxwell, please, for the sake of your wife, I want you to put aside your differences. Hmm. Alright. Ruth? Yes. Yes to what? No fighting. <laughs> if I hear. Mr. Maxwell. I'm sorry. I have lived with this woman for over three years. It's not easy being in the same room with her after the few weeks of freedom I have tested. Freedom? Maxwell, me! Am I that bad? You are worse. Child. I think we should approach this from another angle. Ruth, can you please tell us, honestly, why do you think Maxwell here has this level of intolerance of you right now? I did not know it was this serious. I... I don't know! Ruth, be sincere. Well, I know I am harsh. Very harsh. Mr. Maxwell, please let her talk. I know how I can be. But I only behave like that because of how I've been treated before. Here we go again. How have you been treated? I have been lied to, cheated on. I've even seen it happen to close relatives. That's why I have this mindset now and I want to change. Ruth, you have told me your story. But what I want to know is how and why you began transferring your unresolved anger to your husband. Why have you never even bothered resolving your anger with your past relationship all this while? I don't know. I'm beginning to wonder why I came here. I've asked you before. Maybe I wanted to give Ruth a chance. Just for the sake of the past we have shared. Sorry, did you say past? Yes, it's all in the past. 
I wouldn't even be here now if she had not tried to control my life as usual and prevented me from traveling out of the country. Am I the only married man in this world? You promised to give me nothing but happiness. And you promised not to attempt suicide again. But the last time we saw, you were about committing suicide and homicide at the same time. You caused it! I think this was a bad idea. We have a lot of work to do. Maxwell! Uh uh. This one will you call me Maxwell? What did happen? Now, what did I ask you? What did happen? What? What is going on between you and Precious? Oh! <laughs> now you can't do your face serious like this. Guy, forget that thing. No, serious. What did they stop now? So when she just the acts of you, like say I don't turn your pee. Every time, Maxwell this, Maxwell that. Maybe she's beating me. Guy, leave that thing. We know the small picking now. That girl like you. What you they do? I don't know. Since we met, every time I come outside, it's as if she's everywhere. She has even visited me here. This one I love you. I tire her. She carry food come safe. She carry food? I don't go lie. I shop her. We safe no try. No food for her that day. And the food where she bring. If you see the aroma, Chai! She don't keep my friend, Jazzo! Na lie! But why food don't go to the house? You know she buy? You know they are the manage now. All my money, now for traveling right now. I did suspect that girl. You know say you get in your same face. And all these girls! Guy, talk true. It a pain you say you know chop that food. Before I call, me where I don't do yet since! Fresh, single guy like me. Precious no see me. Now Uncle she dey call me. Uncle Efe. <laughs> Uncle Efe. You just come now. She come to follow you. Carry food come give you. What is this for your body self? What cargo married man like you? <laughs> Tell us you won't kill my friend though. Now you bring us together now. Thank you for coming Maxwell. I thought you were not going to show up. I'm here now. We can see that. Ruth, glad to have you here too. I'm happy this is a couple session now because it has brought to light some points that were hard to see when it was just you, Ruth. I'm glad. Me too. Good. Is there anything you have to say? Any observation, recent experience, questions on your mind? Well, the past few days have been the same. The same loneliness. The only difference is that I am seeing him here now. You do not communicate outside here. No, it won't even pick my call. Is that so? There is one question I've been asking myself. Go ahead. It's for Maxwell. Mr. Maxwell, are you still with us? Yes. His mind is not here. Maxwell, why does it seem like you don't want to be here? Because I don't want to be here. Well, you came here yourself. People called me first. You said you wanted to give Ruth a chance. Maybe I was high when I said that. Ha! Mr. Maxwell, please stop joking. I'm not really interested in this whole thing. <laughs> Unless you have given up on this relationship and marriage, I want you to please bring your mind here and stay with her. Okay, I'll stay. On my own terms. Let me be. Don't force me to talk. <laughs> you don't even care about me anymore! Ruth, please tell us what you think about the control you mentioned the other day. I don't think a married man should should be so free with other women apart from his wife. What about you? You have no male friends? Not really. What do you think about a person who feels they own someone else to the point where they can control that other person's life? I, I wouldn't want to be around that person. But that's what you have been doing and you say you have reason for it. Yes. You are aware you two are not together now. How would you feel if, say, maybe, you saw Maxwell with another woman at this present point of your relationship? Eh? What would come to your mind? This is not what I told you I wanted. But you told me you wanted change first. What if that change means losing your husband? <laughs> That's not what I want! Maxwell is here, and he's a human being with feelings too, not an object you can just possess. I've heard that before. I said it. Is that not Maxwell's car? What's he doing here? <laughs> Maybe that's not him. <laughs> no. 
No, 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 no. He can't have moved on just like that. We're not even divorced. I can't believe it. He's been coming to therapy with me. And all this while, he's seen someone else. Oh, oh. He has actually been making a fool of me. <laughs> and he's a human being with feelings too. Not an object you can just possess. What do you want to change? I, I want to be a better person. <laughs> is your health? I'm okay. And how is your therapy and counseling? I'm not going again. Why? It's useless. What do you mean? I am not wasting my time and money again. Ruth, you are not communicating. How is it a waste of time and money? I saw Maxwell the other day with another woman. He has moved on. And what makes you think he has? I just said I saw him with another woman. So? And see me. I don't understand you. Maxwell is obviously over me. This is the reason why I said you should get cancelling. You reason in a funny way. How does seeing Maxwell with another lady automatically means he's over you? Life is not black and white. <sighs> me? I don't know what you're saying, no. All I know is that my marriage with Maxwell seems to have come to an end. I am not interested in the therapy anymore. So, did you go to therapy because of Maxwell or because of yourself? You told me you wanted to change. Focus on yourself. When you get better, Maxwell will come if he truly loves you. And with all I've seen since you started dating, I know he loves you. Then why is he doing this now? Or more than she? Is that why you have been lying down like someone with a death sentence? Sure. When there are other people with more serious problems out there. Is my case not serious enough? I am not going there anymore. You are not serious. Come in. We have been expecting you. Where have you been, Ruth? At home and work. You disappeared for two weeks. You were not speaking my calls. Ooh, it's our turn now. Ruth, what's going on? Nothing. Are you sure? Nothing is going on. Because if something was going on here, I wouldn't be right where I started when I first came here. What do you mean? In fact, I don't even know why I'm paying money to talk to a stranger when there are lizards, wall geckos and cockroaches around my area that will listen to me for free. Because I'm not getting anywhere here. Ruth, what are you saying? Do you know that I have been depressed for the past two weeks? You did not tell me. And it's because of Maxwell. As if I knew. I have been suspecting from the kind height what she gives me as she enters. What did you do to her? I don't know. Ask her. Maybe she saw me talking to her sister in a dream or something like that. Which dream? You come here to give me false hope and yet you are seeing other women in real life. What? Lie! Lie and say that you were not with a woman at just Goodmore two weeks ago. I saw you, Maxwell. I saw you. You know what? I don't care. Yes, I was with a woman. A very beautiful woman. Oh. Wife material for that matter. Child! <laughs> it's too bad that I met her now. After all this. Maxwell, what are you saying? I am saying that I do not deny going out with that lady because I would rather be with someone like that than an obsessed, overprotective woman like Ruth. Ha! How did she know about what is happening in my private life? When we are living separately, ask her why she is spying on me, when she is supposed to be treating herself. What makes you think I was spying on you? I went there to buy something. My world does not revolve around you. <laughs> oh, you sound like it does. Hmm, interesting dynamics. You know what? I think you're even enjoying this. I will stop caring or bothering myself about you. <laughs> Good luck. Hmm. And I am not sick. So don't say I'm treating myself again. Whatever you say, just don't start crying when you see something you don't like. I think I'm beginning to see a pattern. Interesting. You know, 
I'm surprised she didn't stab herself or me. That means this thing is really working. Mr. Maxwell. That's true. I didn't think of that. God saved you. You mean God saved you from prison? Uh-uh. No be Mama Bomboy be this. Mama Bomboy, you don't come back. No, I did as a rock. <laughs> Why come on? Mama Bomboy, you look good. Thank you, Auntie Shokbe. But what is going on? This is not what we discussed. So what do you expect to see? May I remain for my papa house? Or you want me to come here stay for your house? When I'm happy as my husband drive me come out, eh? Habba, no. It's just that you were doing so well. Being a beacon of hope and a voice for the abused and marginalized women in our community. I beg you. As you see me so, I don't come back for my husband's house. If you don't agree me to enter, I go hole in leg till you agree me enter. How they come for this house again? Mama bon boy. Carry your woman's rights, they go. Abusive home is better than no home. Mama bon boy. Hm. Oh baby, we both know. I'm not Today, I would like you two to talk about your experiences since your relationship started. The good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> the bad is plenty. And it's very ugly. Let's start with the good. Well, there was a time we went out to the conservative center and we stared at the huge golden sculpture as the sun sets. I don't remember. Why? It was very expensive. What's this now? So, you don't have any good memories that are affordable. Maxwell, please be serious. Ruth, go hard. There was the time we went to the mall and we found this, this really cute matching mugs. They are still in our house. After that, we met Lizzie and you almost smashed my phone. Interesting. Mixed recollections of the same events. We used to be in the kitchen together sometimes. It was very romantic. I remember telling him that he was not like other men that would not lift a finger to do anything in the kitchen with their wives. But she didn't remember that when she called my sister, our sister-in-law, a prostitute and husband snatcher for talking on the phone with me, her own brother. Hmm, is there any other one you want to share? The first day he asked me out. You said no. And you said you would make me happy. And have I made you unhappy? Ruth, be sincere with yourself. Yes, tell us Ruth. No, I guess I am the one that has been ruining the good memories we've had. I am the one who has been making myself unhappy. So, would you say you two have had good memories since your relationship began and blossomed into marriage? Because I am afraid to ask for the bad memories now that the good ones are still having unpleasant elements. To be honest, it's not all our fault. I could have done something instead of waiting till things fell apart. Oh, baby, we both know. I am not happy, Maxwell. Why? Why are you still seeing her? Who? Your ex-wife. Ruth? Is she not your ex-wife? It's not that simple. What do you mean by that? Are you two still together or not? I don't even understand you. Why are you asking me all these pressures? Maxwell, are you playing with me? Playing with you? I thought there was something going on between us. What? No, no. Is this some kind of game to you? Am I your mistress? Your, your side chick? Oh my god. Look, precious. I honestly don't know what is going on in your head. You have been leading me on and you are saying you don't know what is going on. I don't know what to say. Maybe you are not even married. Maybe you and your friend concocted this whole outbreak story to get girls and you look so innocent. I should have known. Precious. I'm sorry if you think I have been leading you on. The truth is, I am still legally married, but I am not on good terms with my wife, whom I'm leaving soon. That's what they all say. Honestly, I do enjoy your company, and you make me feel better than I have felt in years since I started dating my wife. Then why haven't you cut ties with her? Why haven't you asked me out? I can't do anything with you. Why? I really don't want any woman drama for now. Really? Then why are you still seeing her? You obviously still have plans for her. I'm leaving the country anytime from now, and I'm putting a close to anything that will give me unnecessary headache. Hmm. I can't lie to myself. I love her. 
and that is why I have been with her all this while. I think that is why I'm still seeing her now, even when I can't stand her. I thought you were the one. You will find someone. Someone who will see how precious you are. But I'm sorry, that person is not me. I wonder if she loves you the way you love her. Where's Maxwell? He is not coming today. Why? Did I offend him the last time? No, it's not you. He called to inform me that he will be going to get his flight ticket amongst other things today. Oh. I will reschedule if you don't feel like it today. I've forgotten that he was about to travel. I gave myself false hope. He couldn't even call me to tell me. Why is he not even trying to reach out to me? Or at least try to pick my calls. Even one call, just one. Give him time. You will get there. Oh, baby, we both know. Maxwell, can you please tell us what you would like to get from this? I don't really have much to say. He's running away. Of course, there is nothing to say. Ruth. No, leave her. It's our way. You said earlier that you think there is something you could have done. What do you mean by that? It meant you should have gotten rid of me since. You have started again. There is no need to start any argument. Why are you even here now? Huh? I thought you were planning to travel with your new wife material. I thought you said you wouldn't bother or care anymore. So you enjoy seeing me miserable. You have been coming here to make a fool of me. The way you think and talk, it never ceases to amaze me. You are a heartless man. You will suffer the way I have suffered. You don't know anything about suffering, woman. Self-centeredness is your problem. And I thought you were beginning to change. Keep thinking, Ashewo! Ruth, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. You keep quiet. I knew this was all a joke. If you like, go and stand in the middle of two trains. I'm not turning back. I know I am wrong. What did you just say? Maxwell! If you like, go and stand in the middle of two trains. I'm not turning back. I know I am wrong. What did you just say? I know I am wrong. I know this now. I should not transfer my anger on you. You have feelings too. You are not an object. What's all this recitation now? I have been thinking only of myself all this while. I can see this now. I am sorry for ruining our good memories because of my... Because of my selfish thinking. So, what are you saying? I want to apologize for taking your love for granted. We I have never wanted to say this out loud. But I know that you deserve someone better than me. That's why I decided to come here, thinking I could make myself better. Am I hearing double? Sorry about my bad temper. Sorry for all the embarrassment I have caused you. Sorry for today. <laughs> I won't blame you if you hate me or if you leave now. You have left me before and if you leave now, I don't know if I will see you again. So I want to say I'm sorry. I will try not to bother you again. Ruth, this is sounding like a dream. Wow, I don't hate you and I am not running away with any woman. I have never considered any woman since I met you and... That's why I was always surprised when you acted as if you didn't know this. <laughs> I wish I wasn't so terrible. I forgive you. And please forgive me for hitting you. <laughs> Sorry for hitting your head with Omorobu. <laughs> one one. <laughs> I'm sorry, Naomi. How is it? Okay, I'm coming right away. My little boy is at the hospital. Oh, Hope it's not serious. He's okay. It's just a stomach upset. His dad has been with him. It's my turn now. Sorry about this. I will reschedule. It's alright. Take care. So, how is your... How is your house? <laughs> you don't know how to talk to me again. Honestly, I don't. It's been a while. So, is this how we're going to continue? Only seeing each other at the therapist's office? I've been wondering too. I don't know if this relationship can stand a chance again without this counseling thing. Are you sure you don't know? Or are you avoiding the answer? What answer? You're leaving soon, aren't you? Yes. Then why are you here? I came to see you. <laughs> that woman can pretend. She needs help. You should try to help her now. She's your fellow woman. 
You see? <laughs> oh, that's not fair. That's not fair. Honestly, it's not fair. Hope no one is stressing you at work. Okay. Then meant me. Is that car still in that area? Or it has moved? <laughs> I have told you to stop being scared of it. It's just a cat. Now, wow. Look at small level. Oh, it's fine. He's even here. Well, I'm not asleep. <laughs> Let me leave you to sleep, oh, Max. Before the fair will vex for me now. Okay. Good night, dear. Good night. Mm hmm. This is my new fan romance, no be here, oh. Now, I'm carry call. Keep person for you. See time. Bros, sorry. Max, you be the first shaka for him before. Now you did do like this with that shop jazz. Not true love. I pray for you, Sha. Thank you. My own be say, if you now one start to the play love, I take God back you. My hotel manager job, he ain't for work. My house no be hotel. <laughs> you not serious. Hmm. Yeah, well, you are looking like a new bride. Can't see me. Stop pulling my legs, Joe. No, seriously. You seem really happy. It's good, though. Okay, now. I believe your counseling is going fine. Yes. And your husband? He's fine. And when are you two getting back together? We're taking things one step at a time. I am not going to force anything. Wow. You even sound different. That's good. Yeah, speaking of difference, what happened between your friend and her fiance? You mean Kofo? Yes. You mentioned it a while ago, but my mind was not there. Is it not you? You will not pay attention. Tell me now. Hmm. Barista James broke up the engagement. He said he found out she was pregnant and hid it from him. Eh? Is that true? Yes, so. But how? That means it's not his. Yes. I wonder how she could keep such a secret, even from me, a friend. I knew there was something fishing about her suddenly going abroad for studies. Hey, yeah. It must have not been easy carrying such a secret along. And now, he's left her just like that. I feel bad for her, Asha. Sure. Hmm. So who is even responsible for Kofo's pregnancy? I wonder on my sister. Hey! Which can kind of life be this? Every day beating. <laughs> I don't tell you. I don't tell you. Papa one boy don't kill me. Somebody help me out. Doctor, nurse, NGO. They cannot come give me justice. Mama one boy. Auntie Shope. See my life outside, oh. And you told me to leave, oh. Me, Mumu. And I found Bado. Doctor, doctor, I know if you can eat this, my two legs will carry again. Okay. I love you, baby, baby. Oh, sorry. Mama bomb boy. I don't die for you. Do you pain, eh? Hey. Bill, I said, I pour me acid. God forbid. Ha! Thank God it's not that. Why me? <laughs> Why me? <laughs> it's okay. You get better. <laughs> Why else my dog keep me finish finally? You are not dead. Don't worry. It won't hurt you again. He has run away to escape police arrest. But I can assure you, he will be brought to justice. Hey! But Mama Bomboy, you brought this on yourself. I hope you now know that there is nothing good about an abusive home. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. I have told you to stop driving and making calls. We can talk later. I'm using hairpiece. Safety is still important. You need to concentrate. Calm down. I have reached where I'm going. Okay, so where are you? You don't want to tell me back. Excuse me, someone is at my door. I'll call you back. Who is there? Maxwell! Can I come in? I hear you two are living together now. Yes. <laughs> That's great. I hope it has been a swell experience. It has. It's like we just got married again. I am really impressed. 
I want to thank you, Naomi, for all you have done for us, especially for listening to my rantings. <laughs> yes, big experience. I give you applause for that. I'm just doing my job. I'm glad you are glad. You know, I thought this was a waste of time before. I'm happy you have had a change of heart. Hello? Oh, alright. I am on my way. I have to leave now. I have another appointment. Aren't you supposed to come here? Not this one. I'm going for a group therapy appointment. That sounds interesting. Yes, it is. Welcome to group therapy and counseling. This is our first session for this group and I am your moderating counselor. You can call me Naomi. Can everyone please introduce themselves? <coughs> My name is Maxwell, okay? I'm his wife, Ruth, okay? What was with all this saying of okay? I wonder! It's their family name. Okay! I am Mr. John Galadema. I am Adibat Galadema. My name is Esther. I am Madame Benedicta Ngozi. I am Baba Femi Yalekbe Soro Valentine Alabi. Mrs. Alabi. Thank you, Hall. Welcome to Group Therapy and Counseling. This is our first session for this group and I am your moderating counselor. You can call me Naomi. Can everyone please introduce themselves? <coughs> My name is Maxwell, okay? I'm his wife, Ruth, okay? What was with all this saying of okay? I wonder! It's their family name. Okay! I am Mr. John Galadema. I am Abibat Galadema. My name is Esther. I am Madame Benedicta Ngozi. I am Baba Femi Yaregbe Soro Valentine Alabi. Mrs. Alabi. Thank you, Hall. I would like to know how you got to know about here. It's my mother-in-law. That ain't a very old hat. Happy birth. Sorry. My dear husband's sweet mother decided to sign us up for therapy. She said we need help. She said you need help. What about Mr. and Mrs. Alabi? We saw your signboard, so we said we should enter. <laughs> My parish priest recommended me here. That's nice. My sister. What have you, Esther? Are you still with us? Yes, it was my dad. He said I should try here. Okay, thank you for your cooperation. I think we are doing good. So, the essence of this whole group meeting is that we come together to talk about our problems and share experiences and solutions. Just that, eh? Egg by me, and that's what I'm spending. Femi, stop embarrassing me, Joe. What? <coughs> See this small girl. She's not complaining. You, Agbaya. Who is a small girl? Eh, what? No, be fine, too. These people don't have shame, more. <laughs> See who is talking. Wow. Please calm down. There is no need for argument. We are here to solve problems, not start quarrels. We don't have any problems. It's not by force to talk, but it's in your own best interest to do so, or you would just end up wasting your time and resources. So, who wants to share first? Me. Thank you. Go ahead. In a nutshell, I'm a simple, peace-loving man with just one problem. My wife here is stalking me. Hmm. What exactly do you mean by that, Mr. Galadima? You can call me John. That's if my wife will allow you though. Ever since we got married, we have never been apart. Not because of destiny, but because she follows me everywhere. Wow. Can you believe that she left a well-paying job to work in the same company I work? Just so that she can monitor me. Ulagbarao. See who is talking. She has sacked about three of my secretaries. Insisting on a male secretary and only male members of staff around me this is serious hmm she makes sure she travels everywhere with me and if she can't she would demand video chats she has even tipped off kids men drivers and security guards at my place of work and at home to monitor me so you are just in under level this one is in final year abi postgraduate self my excuse for all this is that when she was young, her father impregnated his secretary and sent her and her mother packing. And it's a valid reason. What has been your response to all this? Are you guys blind? 
You should look where you are going, madam. How dare you? Do you know where I am? You nearly injured my wife. You should apologize. Baby, don't worry. Let's go. What did you just say? We are not fighting with you now. Excuse me. I am not talking to you. I said you should apologize. And if I don't? Kindly move back, please. <sighs> hmm. If not for the fact that you are handsome, I will have insulted you very well. Yay! 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 Ashemo, in my presence, you have the effrontery to cut eye for my husband. You are dead today. Baby, please. It's not that serious. Let's... Let's go. Leave me! Leave me all! Now I understand. So this is one of your side babes, Abby. You want to leave me and travel out with this thing. No wonder. No wonder she has the guts to wink at you in my presence. Oh, God. Why are you looking worried? What? She's so rude. She's not even that fine self. Really? Max, so is this how girls used to harass you? I tell you. Ha! Huh, Mama Bomboy, what did happen to you? Nothing, ah! Uh. No, 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 don't say that. Tell me, what he can't do you for body like this? Na costume now, and they come from Halloween party. Simbu no question. No vex, I hear say na Papa Bomboy pan a beat you like this. That man is a beast too. I will see police don't arrest him. Eh uh -huh. I be want ask you. You get data for your phone? Sure, I get enough data to browse a whole month. Good! I beg, help me go Google. Okay, I am there waiting you won't search. Waiting be that question where you asked me before. Oh, I was asking you whether police don't carry Papa Bombo. Type him. Ask Google. Chai. No face. I just think I sympathize with you. Now that sympathy go kill you. Chai. I'm a bombing version. <laughs> Last session was enlightening. Yes, it was very eye-opening. Without further ado, who would like to go today? Wow, Esther, that's nice. Please go ahead. I'm single and I can't stand men. So, who can you stand? Women? Esther, please explain your statement. When I was a teenager, I was raped. Oh my god. By my father. To Fiaqua. Everyone, please control your reactions. This is a place of healing, not condemnation. Sorry, is it the same father that signed you up for this therapy? Yes. That means you are still in contact with him. Does your mother know about this? I am serious. I have not seen it in the last two months. Wow, wow. Okay, we have to do something about it. Tomorrow we'll go to... Maxwell! Wow! I thought we would never see again. Precious! How are you? I am fine. And you? I'm good. Meet my wife, Ruth. Ruth, this is Precious. I have seen her before. Really? Yes, I saw you somewhere, but don't worry about that. Okay, um, I'm your husband's friend's neighbor. Okay. You two look good together. I am happy for you. Thank you. Hold your husband well, you have a good one. Thank you. Only a fool will throw someone so valuable away. Thank you, precious. Let me leave you guys. It was nice meeting you. Same here. She likes you. Is that so? Yes, sir. See the way she was looking at you. The same way Papa Bomboy looks at you. Yeah. Eh? Nothing. <laughs> I'm raising my voice, not because I want to shout, but because I want those without a voice to be heard. You see that pretty hair on your head? My dear, it's your crown. Because you are a queen, you are bold and beautiful. No man is worth your tears. Pick up the pieces of your life and move on. Sweetie, you can be whatever you want to be in life. If you work hard, you don't need a man to be successful. Men are not a necessity. They are mere luxury. It pains me when I see ladies talk about how they need a rich man in their lives. See, the only way you can give up your power as a woman is to think you don't have any. You don't need a man. You are all you need. Walk on your servant. See how men worship your feet. Seem bold and beautiful. Seem I like the woman I am becoming. Yes! Hashtag black girl magic. Hashtag Miss Independent. Double hashtag Woman Help. 
Hmm, super fan. If only she were here to hear you. As in, she's so awesome, eh? Such an inspiration. I so want to be like her. Really? It's that serious? Yeah, she's my role model, though. Of course. You're always on her handle. Trust me, if you know her like I do, you will follow her too. Are you sure you know her? Hello? Just take a look at her. Her page is exquisite. She has taste. And it's a very motivational page, especially for we women, which is why I love her. Go power all the way. Hmm. Oh God, I'm so lonely. How I wish things would come back for me. Hmm. Anyways, I'm a superwoman. I refuse to be broken. I mean, I've made a mistake, but my child isn't a mistake. She's a special gift from God Almighty. She's all that matters to me. Amazing! Esther, she could not make it today. Hey, yeah, poor girl. It must have been really hard talking about that incident. I just hope she has gotten better from the discussion from last session. I doubt it. She left a message saying that she's not ready for all this now. Does that mean she does not want to get help? That's too bad. Ah, what a life. People are wicked though. Seaport calling Kate to black. So, who is sharing today? I must talk today. Go ahead, Mrs. Alabi. Thank you. My issue with my husband is not so different from Oga and Madame Galadima. Please explain. God bless you. My husband is very, very jealous and overprotective. This gentleman here? Which gentleman? There is nothing gentle about him. Though. If you like, I saw it inside. Leave me alone. Let me talk. You have been making fun of other people's stories. Madam, talk now. Let's hear you, please. My husband made me resign from my job due to unwarranted lack of trust. Hmm. He is not even earning much, but he still forced me to leave my well-paying job. I established a supermarket and I have noticed that he acts funny around my male customers. He even harasses them. Before, okay? He doesn't allow me to use a smartphone. Can you imagine? In this 21st century, if he sees me with one, it's a big headache for me. He will seize it or smash it. All because he doesn't want me to communicate with any man. Makageni. He changes my SIM card every now and then, with or without my knowledge. He reads my messages. Hmm. This my husband even slapped my cousin once, before realizing it was my cousin. He locked me out one day because he saw my boss dropping me off from work. Was it a woman? Mm-mm, it was a donkey. He does not allow any man around me. Your father and call. If any man greets me or even smiles at me, my husband will get angry with me. This one's strong. There has to be a reason for all this behavior. Your head is correct, Auntie Naomi. You see, two women, two good women that I have dated, I discovered they were shitty on me. And it's me that is suffering now. The first one, I found out she was sleeping with my best friend. Hapa, some women? The second one, I caught her in bed with my next door neighbor in my own house. It's as if you like bad girls, huh? The third one, I'm not joking with her at all. Ra, 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 ra. No games, my eyes are on her. See my life, oh. Mr. Alabi, I have one question for you. Hello, baby. Wow, what a pleasant surprise. Don't you think it's high time we see after many months of blind dating? Is this not the same thing I have been saying? I'm also tired of online thing. Let's make it real. So, can we see tomorrow? Sure, I can't wait to finally see you. So, how is it going to be? Come to my place. I will send you the address. Your place? Do you stay alone? Yes. I'm a single lady. No need to waste your money on hotel. Use the money to buy stuffs for me when coming. Wow. That's better then. And do take enough agbo because I can do six rounds. Wow. You bust my brain. I can't wait to handle you tomorrow. I trust my husband. 
Hello. What's all this for? I'll tell you when we get home. You know I don't like too much suspense. We are almost home. See, we have reached. Why didn't you tell me in advance that we are having visitors? Don't worry, it's no big deal. Efe, so you're one of our guests, and Matteo didn't tell me. Good evening, you look lovely. Thank you. Love me so, I don't know what thing I do when you like me so. I don't know what thing I do when you love me so. I don't know what thing I do when you like me so. You two day, you two day, you two day. Please, what is going on? Happy birthday! Oh my god! Thank you! But my, my birthday was three months ago. Maxwell, Maxwell, what is this? I know. I'm sorry I was not around for your birthday. I made you spend it alone. Happy birthday in Aries, my love. Oh, thank you. Thank you for coming. I'm so happy to see my friends and family here. Where is Uncle Spend it? He's not feeling fine. He said I should tell you happy peg day on his behalf. Hey, yeah. Tell him thank you for me. And extend my greetings to him. No problem. Hey, Faye, thank you for the present. And I'm sorry for speaking bad of you in your absence. Mwahala! You guys have made my day. Thank you. Hello, babe. I'm in front of house six. Oh, come in. Come in. Oh, baby, you're welcome. Thank you. It's my pleasure to finally meet you. Same here, dear. I hope it was easy locating here. Yes, I know this estate very well. Take, I bought this for you. Wow, thank you so much. So what do I help for you? Anything chill. Okay, a minute. You have a nice place. Thank you. Hope you took enough, JD. As I said, I know they like to say contents. Me, Ronaldo, I don't take JD to perform well on bed. I am a striker. Really? I know the Greek home. If you hear we die here today, now me be that. Yay! Are you expecting someone? No. Who is that? It's me, baby. Yeah? My husband? Wait! Are you married? Yes! I'm sorry, I lied to you. I don't know you will be back this early. Oh my god. So, what do we do? Hmm. Okay, I have a plan. Baby, I'm waiting. Just go into the kitchen and start washing the dishes. I have a lot of dirty plates there. I will tell my husband you are from the cleaning service. Okay? Okay. I hope he will believe you. Don't worry. You will believe me. I am coming. What took you so long? I am sorry, baby. I was attending to something. Is there anybody in the house with you? Yes, a man from the cleaning service. He is in the kitchen doing the ditches. Hey, boy. What's the oil, okay? Yes, sir. When you are done, I have a pile of dirty clothes for you in the bathroom. You will wash all of them, okay? Yes, ma. Babe, did you add my boxers? Sure. Chai! I'm done with the cleaning. I want to take my leave. Not so fast, young man. My wife says she booked your service for the whole day. So, go clean the toilet. Chai! Oh, I forgot to flush. Don't worry, my shit doesn't smell that bad. And also, when you're done washing the toilet and mopping the floor, you will wash my car. The tires are then dirty. I'm done with the cleaning. I want to take my leave. Honey, is there anything else you need him to do before he goes? I don't want you to stress yourself on my baby. 
Mr. Renardo, you have done a good job. You can go now. What about his money? Aren't we gonna pay him? No need, dear. The company is doing a promo, so the first home service is free. We will start paying from subsequent services. Wow, that's a good one. You can go. Hey, Mr. Man, come back and watch the gate. <laughs> Next level.